What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another jailbreak status update video. For those of you that jump into these videos that want to know, is there a brand new jailbreak that just came out? Unfortunately, there is not yet. This is just a status update. I'm going to talk about some news in this video that I think is very exciting in the world of jailbreaking. And also, I want to mention that if you're watching this in the future, it might be outdated. Just to make sure that you are subscribed and you ding the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I upload a new jailbreak tutorial whenever that is released. So no, there is no iOS 15 jailbreak out yet. The jailbreaks are the same. They have not been changed, uh, or at least there hasn't been a new, jailbra uh, new jailbreak since mid-December-ish. So I'm not going to talk about current jailbreaks in this video. I just want to talk about news and get that out of the way. And I'm also going to mention that it is jailbreak season. A new jailbreak could come out any day now, and I think that's super exciting. But anyways, let's get into the news of the video. Let's go into Twitter here. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, the link is in the description. I tweet about this stuff much quicker than I can create a video on it. So if you guys don't want to miss out, link is down in the description. But if we go ahead and search up the user Bright Iup, for those of you that have been subscribed, you guys would remember this person here. They posted a screenshot of kernel read and write on iOS 15. Uh, this was a couple of months ago. Let's see if I can't find the tweet right here. So there is the image right there of them achieving kernel read and write iOS 15.1. Super exciting, and as promised, Bright IUP did release a write up on this vulnerability, and this is it right here. So, this is the write up on CVE 2021 30955. And I know there is a lot of people that were disappointed in this write up because it is not a proof of concept, but I just want to say thank you, Bright IUP. Thank you for releasing this uh, for us to use. I think it's incredibly important. I'll leave the Twitter handle down in the description if you guys want to show bright eye up some love on twitter like i said they did not have to release this to us whatsoever they could have just not even worried about it um but like i said a lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't a proof of concept which i think is silly because since then there has been two proof of concepts that i have seen that use this cve so this is one of them here this is a proof of concept for that vulnerability and then i tweeted one here um, a little bit before that one, this is another proof of concept using that same CVE. So basically showing how the vulnerability could, you know, could be exploited, essentially. It still has to be turned into an exploit to be used with Uncover. So it's not like, you know, uh, Pwn Own can just take that proof of concept and paste the code into Uncover. He actually has to exploit it. So he has to exploit that vulnerability and it has to be built into the jailbreak. So it's it's one piece of the puzzle. There's much more to go, but it's a big piece. It's probably the most important piece of the puzzle. And I think that that is very exciting. So hopefully Uncover is being updated in the background right now. And we could see it updated for iOS 15.0 up to 15.1. And I think that that is extremely exciting. It's, you know, it's a, it's a step in the direction of getting iOS 15 jailbroken. But like I said, this is all speculation. I don't know what the Uncover team is working on in the background. Nobody does. And nobody knows when these jailbreaks are going to be released to the public. It just happens. They just post it on their website. They tweet about it and that's it. And then I make a video on it. So I'm completely speculating. But I think that Uncover could use that in updating the Uncover jailbreak for iOS 15. So that's exciting. Now I also want to talk about the Checkrain jailbreak because I absolutely love Checkrain. I think Checkrain is amazing and I love using it on my iPhone 10. And for those for for those of you out there that hate on Checkrain, you know, they say that nobody has older iPhones anymore. They all just have the iPhone 13. That is so not true. There are probably hundreds of thousands if not millions of people in this world that still have older iPhones. Not everybody can afford to spend $1,500, you know, every year on the newest iPhone, there are plenty of people out there with the older iPhones. So I think that Checkrain is still, you know, incredibly important jailbreak utility to have because 
a lot of these people love to jailbreak their, their older iPhones, and I am one of them. I absolutely love it. But if we go into GitHub, there has been some sort of update for CheckRain on iOS 15. So if you follow along here, um, we're going to go into who I'm following on GitHub, and Saguza is one of them. So Saguza is one of the CheckRain team members. And if we go into organizations and we go to the CheckRain GitHub here, we go into Pongo OS. So if we go into Pongo OS, if you guys don't know what this is, it is a pre-boot execution environment for Apple boards built on top of CheckRain. Okay, so this is a pretty important piece of the CheckRain jailbreak. If we go and change the branch, you can see there is an iOS 15 branch now. There is M1, which came out last year, and there is also now iOS 15. So that right there is proof that they're working on something for iOS 15. And if we switch to that branch and go to the commit, you can see Seguza was fixing some stuff. We can even click on it and we can check out the code. Now, I don't know how to read any of this code. I don't know, you know, iOS security or how any of this works. But for those of you that know how to read this stuff, you can see that there is some sort of activity going on for iOS 15. And I think that that is super exciting. So yes, CheckRain is being worked on for iOS 15. That is pretty much proof right there. Now, as far as what versions will CheckRain work for iOS 15, I really have no idea. I would love to see CheckRain gain support for iOS 15.0 up to 15.3. That would be really cool. I don't know any nitty gritty details like is Face ID still gonna be broken on A11 or passcode lock broken on iPhone 8. I really don't know any details. I just know that there was an update to the Pongo OS for check rain. So I think that that still is very exciting. And that's pretty much all the news I got for you guys. So there's a vulnerability, some proof of concepts floating around out there. Also a slight little update to check rain that's just showing that something is going on in the background. It, something is better than nothing, I assure you. And uh, again, just wanna remind you, if you guys don't wanna miss out on any kind of jailbreak news, just make sure you click the subscribe button. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one later.